What is going on, boys? Swaggy's here. So, I'll introduce let's get on to the extra video for today. Today, we'll be reacting to something that's a little bit different and overall something that came out pretty recently, like literally within the this hour. Uh, and it's Posture's new video Why Smile Dog is the Perfect Creepy Pasta. Now, if you don't know what a creepy pasta or smile dog is, don't worry, it's been like so long since any of these characters have really been relevant, uh, especially a lot of creepy pastas. Uh, but a lot of them have, you know, started to gain more relevancy. And Smile Dog is a very old one. I overall had so much enjoyment with at the time. Uh, and overall, it was it was interesting. It was very interesting. So I want to go ahead and see why Posture thinks Smile Dog is no the perfect creepy pasta. So that, without any ado, let's get down to it. Like I said, link down below. Please go check out the actual original stuff. They work really hard in support. And of course, please go check them out and you know on their other social media. And of course, you know all the you know, links they got here as well. Like I said, link down below. Go check out Posture. Without any ado, let's get down to it. Imagine this scenario with me. The year is 2008, and while scrolling on a small forum, you find yourself curiously <coughs> looking through a thread that appears to be discussing a cursed Nate, photograph like simply four. called smile.jpg. As you read the thread, you learn more and more about the horrifying ramifications of viewing one such photo. Yeah. The nightmares, the hallucinations, mm -hmm. all of them described to you in painstaking detail. Yeah. As you reach the end of the thread, thoroughly disturbed by the contents you have just learned about, the author explains photo. to you that there is only one way for the curse to end. To spread, to spread the word and show it to someone else. Ugh. I hate that image, but I love it because it's so creepy. I what I just described to you was the classic creepy pasta known as Smile Dog. Mm. If you are a fan of creepy pastas or just general internet horror, chances are you've heard of this story <laughs> or the two main photos tied yeah. to it at some point. Yeah. While many of the more classic creepy pasta characters fell into relative obscurity in the years following oh, the early 2010s, Smile Dog has stood the test of time mainly through the efforts of his dedicated fan base. Yeah. New projects involving the character are being made every day, yeah, no especially way, over the last couple of years. That's cool. The most significant of these projects to give an example would definitely be the digital horror web yes, series chain was, mail chasers which shows us a completely reimagined version of smile dog made terrifying again for both old yeah. and new fans as well as now all of this bosses. does raise a question why was it that out of all these iconic creepy pasta characters that smile dog was one of the very few who maintained his status for the many fans of internet horror what did he and his story do so differently that made him stick with people the way he did? Well, there are many potential answers to that, but I feel the most likely is simply the fact that Smile Dog truly represents everything a creepy pasta should be. That's true. Allow me to explain. To first get my idea across, we should understand what a creepy pasta even is. Over the years, the term has kind of just become this yeah. buzzword used to describe any form of internet horror, but back when these stories were true? much more popular, it had a more specific definition. <coughs> when it was first coined, a creepypasta just referred to any scary copy pasta that would be pasted across discussion boards such as 4chan, with the yep. intention of Reddit, potentially convincing people like, they were real. Like Twitter, as the term those. gained more traction and popularity, it would later broaden to simply describe any form of spooky internet urban legend that was spread around. Mm -hmm. They essentially became internet campfire stories. Basically. Understanding that is really important when talking about Smile Dog. And I will say, sorry for pausing, that at the time, these creepy pastas were, you know, they they weren't as numerous as they are now with all these varieties of, uh, like, oh, SpongeBob ARGs. No, these were completely just, you know, written stories about characters uh, that, you know, you might not know, you might, you might know, like, you know, Suicide Mouse. Uh, you know the buzzword there, uh, but of course just also like uh, like uh, just Squidward, you know the you know the Squidward creepy pasta, and just Jeff the Killer, you know Slenderman, very famous creepy pastas that at the time dominated not only YouTube, but also were everywhere. Like I, like they said, 4chan, Twitter, just anywhere, Reddit, just you know, you know Tumblr, all those you know social medias, they were incredibly incredibly popular at the time. And then, of course, you no. Know, over time, they did kind of lose their traction, but I'll, I'm sure they'll get to that as well. 
because when you have those definitions in mind, <coughs> it becomes very clear that this story was specifically right. designed to cater to them. Mm -hmm. Smile Dog was a story where the horror of it came from the idea of sharing it around, exposing other people to its yeah. contents and making them do the same by convincing them to some extent that it was real. The entire story builds upon this urban legend, the legend of a haunted photo that when viewed, haunts your every waking moment until you either die or decide to spread the word and share it to someone else, mm -hmm. which is exactly what the author does at the end. Oh, by yeah, reading yeah. the story, I by viewing the image, you, the reader, now become directly involved in the conflict and are given the choice to perpetuate it further. Ooh. What was so wonderful about this story too is that by nature it actively encouraged people to play along with it yeah, and add on to it in ways the original author never did. Some people after reading the story claimed that the reason nothing happened when you viewed the photo was simply because it was a fake. With the real smile.jpg existing somewhere on the internet waiting oh. to be found. Yeah. Others went out of their way to create new versions of the photo which they claimed to be the true smile dog. Like the now famous husky version oh, of yeah. the image or the version we That's see in one. Chainmail Chasers, That's true. leading many to further question the nature uh. of the picture and create their own interpretations of what it means. Mm -hmm. The character and image became so much more than the initial story that I feel it belongs just as much to the internet as a whole as it did to its original author. Uh. I feel all Love of that. that is a true testament to the overall quality of the creepypasta. Mm -hmm. Michael Lutz, the author, was able to create a story that so perfectly encapsulated everything that made creepypastas so popular that the very idea of it still lingers in the minds of those who have read it to this day. Because sure, the photo shown in this story is fake, but what if people were onto something and a real version of it what if really there was? was out there? What if there was? What if you were unlucky enough to just happen to stumble across it? not even mm. realizing it until it, it was, was too late. late. That's absolutely ridiculous, you may think to yourself. But deep down, you, you know you can never be certain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, looks like there's just his image in here. Anyways, so, of course, without any further ado, I'm actually, let me just go ahead and let these little last seconds play out. Okay, anyways, imagine, sorry, let, let me just go ahead and get out of here, let me just get out of there. Anyways, without any further ado, let me go ahead and give my general thoughts on the video stuff here, and of course, give my own analysis of this video stuff as well. So, of course, another thing that I do think that Smile Dog did excellently well at the time was not only was it, was it very, was it word for it, like, uh, like they said, very, uh, just uh, like almost like exact perfect combination of horror of of curiosity and of course just uh you know morbid morbid wonder uh of just you know if there was a real image if there was this sort of image that you could not get out of your brain no matter what you did and the only way to actually you know remove it permanently was to spread it but not only was it that but it was also the the interactiveness of this experience you got to see the image you got to to choose your own thing you got to you know spread it yourself you got to really you know just sort of involve yourself in a way that was overall very new and overall very what's the word for it very unexplored before like i said with other creepypastas like jeff the killer slenderman there wasn't really much interaction between the character and of course the actual reader themselves here but like i said uh overall though for smile dog it was different because it was an internet like, it was a sort of, like, internet creepypasta where, you know, it wasn't so much the fear of uh, just, you know, of an unknown creature out there that might be lurking in the woods. But it was the fear of an image that you know, what came from the internet that had power by the internet and, of course, only was able to get, you know, you only able to really remove from your brain by spreading it across the internet. And overall, that was something very largely unexplored at the time. And of course, this is also the era where like, you no know, AI was becoming a thing and there's like, like, oh, AI is gonna take over the world. Terminator was coming out, like all these machine versus human kind of things was going on. And overall, that was very important because it overall, like I said, probably brought a lot of inspiration to Smile Dog 
and probably brought a lot of inspiration into you know creating Smile Dog. But aside from that, like I said, overall, let me just go ahead and give my general thoughts on the video itself here. Starting off with the main three factors themselves here, the actual just editing itself here. Well, of course, let me just go ahead and get to the actual just uh you know explanation of Smile Dog itself here. The actual just analysis of Smile Dog itself here, and then of course the actual editing itself the video itself here. Let's get down to it. Now, of course, the explanation for Smile Dog, very brief, very you no, know, very into it, and of course, kind of just explains in a way that kind of uh is very swift and very uh not thorough, but like very. Like I said, it's a it's just very mild. It's a very mild explanation of Smile Dog. There's a lot more to the original story itself than just kind of what they're explaining. Uh, but of course, you're only going to get that information by reading the original story of Smile Dog. And then, of course, aside from that, though, uh, like I said, very brief explanation, but overall kind of gets to the point. But aside from that, like I said, overall, I really do enjoy how they kind of just summarize the entire of Smile Dog to not only the image itself here, but also just the kind of experience that you would get from reading Smile Dog. But aside from that, like I said, overall, I really do enjoy that. I really, really enjoyed that. But aside from that, though, the actual you know, analysis of Smile Dog here was also very important. Overall, really, really thorough. And overall, very well done. I like their analysis. I like their kind of deeper diving into Smile Dog and why it was so popular and why it was so good in general. And then, of course, it got to other sources of media that probably, you know, are very good. Not No, like I said, very, very intrinsically tied to Smile Dog, like Chainmail Chasers, you know, the original Husky image. And then, of course, just other, you know, other sorts of, um, you know, other you know, photos of Smile Dog. But aside, like I said, overall, I love their analysis. It's incredibly thorough, very well done, and overall kind of got to the root of why Smile Dog was so impactful and so important as a as a creepy pasta. And overall, really well done. I love it. It's incredibly well done. But aside from that, though, one last thing: uh, the actual editing itself for this stuff here was incredible. I'm not gonna lie. The actual end image, the actual just you no know, editing itself with that thing type of stuff was incredibly well done. So so good. It's just so enjoyable. I love it. I love the sort of like you no. Know, What's the word for it? Like model that we get here for Postra or like, you know, or, you know, as a substitution for Postra. And it was just so cool. So well done. Now, really added that eeriness. And of course, added that sort of a, uh, just the uh, interaction with the video itself. And overall, it was so well done. So good. Just gave you something to look at. Gave you something to you know, kind of just visualize as you no know, Postra kind of just you no know, kind of in, in that moment of speaking. And overall, like I said, Love it. The editing itself here goes crazy. I love it so much. And of course, without any ado, let's get out to the actual, just no deeper dive with the actual stuff here. Without any ado, <coughs> let's get out to it. Now, before I get to the deep dive, please go check the actual original video stuff here. Like I said, link down below and card at the end video. But aside from that, and for do, let's get right down to it. So like I said, like, subscribe. Uh, please consider doing that as well. Not only for this channel and for this video, but also for posture. They work really hard and deserve just so much support for you no know, not only for their amazing content but also just the amount of effort and time that they took to make the video possible so like I said please go check them out and aside from that though aside from that like I said also like I said notification bell for the next time I upload uh the second video for today it's gonna be very late most likely so like I said if you want me if, if you want me if, if for any future video that comes out from this channel bell icon that's kind of there for and of course comment down below what you guys think of Smile Dog? What are your interpretations of it? What do you think about it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it was very cliche? Or do you think that it really played to the horror of the time? And like I said, just give me your sort of you know, thoughts and opinions on Smile Dog itself here. Like I said, I've given you pretty much most of my thoughts on it. I think it's an amazing creepypasta at the time. And of course, I do think it still holds up excellently well especially with the new modern era of technology that we are in i think it's just amazing but like i said i want to know your guys thoughts on the video on the video stuff here though so that and do like i said leave it down in the comments down below but aside from that though, and for do let's get right on to the actual just no video stuff here like i said the deeper dive you want to kind of get into i kind of just get more into no into depth and more detail about the you know the three aspects i was talking about the explanation the analysis of course and the actual just video editing itself here without any ado let's get right down to it now of course like i said just the edit, the actual just no explanation of it is very well done. I love it. It's just so so much. I love how it brings up a little uh, sample of the original story of Smile Dog here with Mary E. And of course, you know this just sort of a um, story of how she encounters the 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 Smile JPEG. And of course, just how you know you know at the end of the story she chose to uh, you know spread the image, spread the influence. And of course, this is also from the same creator who also considered. You no, know, who will basically kind of rewrote Dreft the Killer, another very, very famous creepypasta. But aside from, like I said, overall, their explanation of Smile Dog was overall 
really well done. I'm gonna let this little like segment itself explain. Photograph simply called Smile <coughs> while scrolling on a small forum, you find yourself curiously <coughs> looking through a thread that appears to be discussing a cursed photograph simply called Smile.jpg. Yeah. As you read the thread, you learn more and more about the horrifying ramifications of viewing one such photo. Yeah. The nightmares, the hallucinations, all of them described to you in pain staking detail and yeah like i said just that brief explanation shows you just how much of a of a, like a an internet tied you no know, horror that smile dog is and like i said explanation very well done very brief didn't really get into the original story too much of smile dog didn't really get too much into the the nitty gritty of the story of like you know who the characters were and, and you know anything like that but it just kind of got into the intrinsic horror of smile dog that being it is an internet photo that is cursed haunted whatever you want to call it and of course just is very tied to you know the spread of information which the internet is very very well except and well well what's the word for it? well excelling in doing but like i said aside from that though without further ado let's get into the actual analysis of smile dog as well um and, you know their analysis of smile dog and why it was you know so you no know, very well done to it at some point like right around here while many of the more classic creepypasta characters fell into <coughs> relative obscurity in the years following the early 2010s smile true? dog has stood the test of time mainly through the efforts of his dedicated fan base Exactly. New projects involving the character are being made every day, especially mm -hmm. over the last couple of years. The most significant of these projects, to give an example, would definitely be the digital horror web series Chainmail Chasers. And I love that they do credit the Chainmail Chasers as being another, you know, very, very, very cool story about Smile Dog. Please go check them out. They, like I said, I, I watched some of their stuff in my own time. I was creeped out. I love it. But like I said, just like. Like, no, they said, like, a lot of the other creepypastas at the time, very, very good, but overall, you know, pretty much fell to obscurity within the next coming years that followed. And overall, that's just kind of how it goes with those creepypastas. And I like how they kept, you know, say that Spine Dog was a little different, though. All of this does raise a question. Why was it that out of all these iconic creepypasta characters, <coughs> that Smile Dog was one of the very few who maintained his status for the many fans of internet horror. What did he and his story do? Give me a second, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. There was, I think some, uh, I thought there was some knocking at the door, but it was kind of just something else. But aside from that, like I said, overall, their analysis of you no know, Smile Dog and why it was kind of popular as it was, and why it's still it's like one of the most popular creepypastas around, is you no know, very well done. I like their analysis. I like how they kind of not only bring up other sources of you no know, Smile Dog media, especially some that it is you no know, pretty recent. But also, I love how they kind of explain why Smile Dog was as you know, as big as it is now, and it's overall really cool. I like that. But aside from that, though, like I said, just in general, you know, you know like I said, analysis very good. Now it's gonna today just video editing itself here. I'm kind of rambling at this one. So yeah, like I said, video editing itself here. I like it. Like I said, I'm loving all the kind of just you no know, images that Posture puts in, uh, and just like I said, this this model is creepy, and I love it. It's so good especially just these other kind of just the uh, things that it does just like these little like almost you no know, like a maniacal laughing type of feel not only that but the actual background here is entirely really cool with you know examples of you know eyeless jack smile dog jack the killer slender man and of course you know you know sonic exe being on the, the little you know faded red background here i love that that is incredibly well done so so cool and overall i want that image i want that image as like a background of my computer like that, that's so cool that's so cool but aside from that like i said video editing itself here very peak very good very enjoyable and overall i loved it without any ado that basically is enough to answer yourself here like i said uh like i said just go check out the actual original video stuff here they work really hard in this and your support so i said Go down below. There's going to be a link down below for the original of stuff here. And like I said, like, subscribe to the video stuff here. They work really hard to support. And of course, aside from that, just link down below. There's another link right here for the original video stuff here right there. But the end card at the end video. As well as another end card right here for another one of my videos. If you're interested in catching that. So please consider checking that out as well. And of course, like I said, like, subscribe, notification bell for the next time I upload. Uh, comment down below your guys' thoughts and opinions on the video stuff here. And of course, what do you think of Smile Dog? Why do you think it became as popular as it did? And of course, do you still watch any kind of Smile Dog or Creepypastas as, no, as, no, no, at your age right now? And like I said, let me know your guys' thoughts on that. And of course, you know, 
you know, some of those, you know, you know, answers to my questions. But aside from that, though, without any ado, have a great day. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. I'll be seeing you boys hopefully soon, but not too soon. As, like I said, I've got to go somewhere, and it's probably going to take all day. But, uh, yeah, I tr I'll try to be here as soon as I can. But uh, aside from that, though, like I said, one last little favor I got to ask you guys. Please consider sharing the videos up here. It really does help out the channel just a ton. And overall, really does help out in spreading the word of Smile Dog. So, like I said, please go check out the ad. No, please go, no, go ahead and no, just no, share the videos up here and spread the word, my friends. Spread the word. And aside from that, like I said, overall, take care of yourself. Stay safe. And I'll be seeing you boys next time. All right. Bye-bye for now, though.